Hi there, students. To importune. Okay, I notice I've also actually heard this pronounced as importune as well, but I would say to importune or importune. Um, okay, let's see. This means to bother somebody, to make persistent uh, requests, to harass someone, to pester them to do something for you. Yeah, um, I think particularly for money. So, um, yeah, the, uh, the beggar did not cease to importune me. Or I like the example of um, reporters importuning everybody who came out of the uh, court for a comment. Yeah, it's to harass somebody to do something. Okay, um, so well, I guess if the the kids are pestering you to buy some buy them something, then the word importune. The kids are always importuning me. The problem with that sentence is that importune is a very formal word. Yeah, I think I'd probably give it a seven point five or even an eight in formality. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, importune also has another meaning or, well, maybe a similar one. Um, it's to either offer your services as a prostitute or to um, ask somebody for sex for money or to make some sort of improper um, proposal. So, um, the young man was arrested for importuning passers-by, okay, um, offering his services to them. Um, this is extremely formal again. Uh, I can see uh, Henry using this, th th this word, but uh, it, it's, a, it's, quite a, it's really quite unusual. I think... I would use this importune as in harassing somebody to do something, particularly something that may or may not be appropriate. Um, they're always sending me um, uh, questionnaires in, which I feel are importuning me for information. Yeah. Okay, so to harass somebody with persistent requests for something. Uh, and this this is the idea to make repeated forceful requests, usually in a way that's annoying or something or that causes problems. So huh, in some countries, as a tourist, you're importuned for money uh, everywhere you turn. Yeah. Um, so to importune, to somebody making a pest of themselves, asking you again and again for something. Yeah, um, I think reporters are particularly uh, um, guilty of importuning uh, people to uh, answer questions that are probably leading questions in themselves. So notice this verb to importune, this is disapproving. This is saying, I don't like this happening. Yeah. Um, you can't walk down the street without beggars importuning you. Yeah. So it's formal and it's disapproving. They're plaguing you. They're hounding you. Yeah. Um, to hound with persistent requests for something. Um, yeah, this um, charity is, is, is importuning me with leaflets and phone calls every day. Okay, um, so it, it's saying I, I don't like the way they're doing it. Pers w to request insistently. Yeah, and this is the idea of to um, importune. Um, also, as I said, to make uh, uh, improper advances. Um, yeah, ha, the, uh, the uh, music seemed to have an importuning quality that demanded again and again that uh, I feel some sort of emotions to it. That's not a bad example. Okay, so um, formality. I think I'm going to give it an 8 in formality.
yeah um you could use it in a, a semi-formal essay or a very formal essay but no more yeah if you use it in the pub people are gonna think you're weird yeah um well may, maybe uh th th they'll think you are uh making improper proposals okay um and then as to origin well it comes through french uh, from latin importunus meaning unfit or um problematic or troublesome but actually if you look at it it comes from not having a port in not and portus a port so i guess that a, a ship that it doesn't have a port is always inconvenient and unsuitable and asking for for a, a place to anchor and i guess that's the idea okay so to importune to pester particularly for money yeah um but also to uh, keep asking questions to get information, maybe um, uh, to importune. And then as, again, to ask, or ask for or offer sex with, some, with someone in return for payment. So I think that's probably enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To importune.